Today we're going to be unboxing another Funko Pop collection. So as of right now, I'm going to be doing a whatnot live auction. Tentatively, this Saturday, which will be June the 4th, I'm thinking around 4 p.m. Eastern time this Saturday. So that is a tentative date and time subject to change depending on outlining factors. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, which is at Franchise Kicks. I'll make sure to update everybody to let everybody know concrete information, date and time for my next whatnot live auction, which will be this collection right here. We're going to do it as a winner's choice kind of a kind of an auction. Majority of this collection is actually Marvel Pops, which Marvel Pops very popular. So I'm thinking about doing just a winner's choice. You go into the Whatnot Live Auction. You can download the app down below. There'll be a link. It's totally free. Use my link down below. Say 10 bucks on your first purchase, too. Good deal, right? But anyway, we'll do a winner's choice where I'll have like 9 to 12 pops on screen. You'll do live auction style. Highest winner. Choose whichever pop they want that is presently on the screen. So you might get pops for winner PPG value. You might get them at PPG value. It all depends on how many people want that specific pop and don't want to risk somebody else taking it before them. So it's a lot of fun. Winner's Choice, honestly, is a really fun auction to do on the WhatNot app. So this collection, I actually, I just got it in. Um, like I said, uh, the value of this thing was a little over $800 PBG value. So it's not like a massively like grow collection or anything. Packaging has me a little bit worried. It was shipped in an oversized box, which is fantastic. It's, it was shipped in a good box. The packaging though, on top was literally an old Amazon box, I guess to use for extra padding. I'm not too sure about that. And you literally have just some random bubbles put on top. I mean, literally just some random <laughs> bubble wrap. And then just some randoms here. And whenever I look at this collection, I don't see anything in pop protectors. That's extremely scary. Because shipping this large of a collection in a single walled box with no protectors at all, there's, there's going to be some damage in this box. It happens in shipping. Whenever you ship boxes like this, it's going to get banged around during shipping by UPS or FedEx or USPS. And, if it, and these pops, if they're not well protected, if there's not bubble wrap around the edges, the bottom, the sides, the top, and it pops, if there's no pops and protectors, there's going to be damage. So hopefully not too much got damaged this collection. Hopefully not. Let's go this thing one piece at a time. Let's see what's in this. And hopefully not too much got damaged, but let's find out. So here we go, right on top. Hope this isn't damaged. Looks okay, good. We have the Spider-Man, the Japanese TV version. This is the glow in the dark chase, the one everybody wants. This is the harder to find version. Thankfully, <laughs> it is not damaged, no pop protector. PPG, this is like, I think 60 bucks or so too. So it's not a cheap pop and not to be in, in at least a soft protector. That's freaking crazy. But thankfully it's not damaged. Next one, we've got Mary Jane. Gamer verse and looks to be okay. Okay, so first two. Okay, but let's actually go towards the corners, the outside of the box. Those are the pops that will take impact during shipping. Let's see, this was on the outside of the box. Zombie Rogue. That looks okay. It's okay, not too bad. Not bad. So so right now, first three were okay. Followed up with Zombie Wolverine. Looks to be okay. Like I said, this is a pretty much like a Marvel collection with I think some other horror pops mixed in. This next one's actually one of my favorite pops that they've made for several years now. And it's pretty good, pretty good condition. This is the Deadpool with Headpool pop. That was in a Marvel Collector Core box back in I think what 2020. It's Deadpool with a severed Deadpool head. That's actually a very fun pop right there. Very different, right? Here we go. This one, hopefully this one's in good condition. Yeah, it looks to be nice. This is a uh, 2016. It's got some sticker residue on the bottom of it. Might have to work on that a little bit, see if I can get that off of it. But if not, you know, it happens. But a 2016 pop, a little bit older, a few years older. 
Let's see, let me pull out this oversized popper here. It's right on top. We have GameStop exclusive. What is this? Alien Queen. Alien Queen. I know there are a lot of alien found alien fans out there for the alien franchise. There we go for an, an alien pop. This, this collection does have some bear pops in it too. We'll pull up those bear pops there in just a second. Here we got Zombie Captain America. Look at that one. That was actually really cool looking. I'm sure. Um, Honestly, at this point, it's okay for like any kind of like small spoilers, but uh, the new Doctor Strange movie, which is about now for like what a month maybe, in that you also saw kind of like a a zombie Doctor Strange, but he was he was already in the preview, so you already knew that from the preview it was a zombie Doctor Strange. But with that, there should be, from what I understand, a possibly a live action Marvel zombie movie that could be very interesting seeing that because with with the what if tv show that they uh made what a year ago with the what if and like the cartoon version of the zombies it was good people really enjoyed it i liked it here we go zombie that one looks really wicked zombie hulk so technically the hulk even from the the what if show the hulk zombies couldn't bite through his skin so the hulk couldn't get zombified if you go by the rules of zombies, you know. Of course, if it was an airborne virus, then yes, more than likely. Ooh, this one's got some damage. Ooh, that one got damaged in shipping. Zombie Daredevil. The top has a tear. We got a crunch right here. So, Zombie Daredevil did get damaged in shipping. So, that's going to hurt Vitus thing. Hmm, hmm. 20, 30 percent. 30 to 40 percent i should say with a tear and a pretty good dent in there so that stinks i'm actually set him off separate from the other ones kind of i guess start hopefully a small damage stack hopefully it doesn't get too big okay next oh i got damage and shipping too we have just a pretty good crease on the bottom of it this is the newest shang chi that that's that right i think i did right Shang Chi, right? Yeah. Before the movie, I haven't ever read a comic book that was Shang Chi, but uh, I enjoyed the movie. But yeah, a little bit of damage on the bottom of that one. Hurt value a little bit there. This one's not too bad of damage. It just has. I actually might be able to work on this a little bit to kind of smooth that out if possible. See so if I can pull some magic. Okay, next one we got Zombie Iron Man Amazon exclusive. This looks okay. Zombie Iron Man. Let's see. Then there's some also just some random <laughs> paper down the side of that. It doesn't really add any protection. This isn't going to help any kind of impact damage because it's paper. But here we go. Next one. We've got Morbius. This one actually has a pretty good value to it. I think it's around like what 60, 70 bucks. And looks to be okay. 2015, seven years old, not too shabby. Has a little bit of just like box, like wear and tear just because of the age of it. It is seven years old. And I'm pretty sure this is also a Walgreens exclusive. So for seven year old pop, this will still be around like eight out of 10 condition. But the zombie Morbius, I still have not seen the Morbius movie. I've only heard just bad things about it though. So I'll wait until it comes to some kind of a streaming platform, wherever that might be. And I'll see it on the streaming platform. Here we go. Next, we have. Oh, this got damaged in shipping too. Korg with Meek. Looks like it got hit with damage and kind of like small tear here and bulged the box out a little bit. So that took a little bit of damage. The top kind of got damaged too. Yeah, it's a little bit of damage on here. Um. And uh, some of these pops that have a little bit of damage to them, like this one, honestly, I'll probably just give away for free um, in my whatnot auction for this collection. Like, I guess these three here, honestly, I'll probably just give them away for totally free. You know, a little bit of damage on them, give them away. You know, if it's worth 30 bucks, a little bit of box damage, give it away for free. Why not? All right, here we go. Next, Zombie Gambit. I think we already had one of these, right? I think. Maybe not, but we got Zombie Gambit, and he looks to be, yeah, he's he's really nice condition for Zombie Gambit. 
Next we got Zombie Moon Knight Funko Shop Exclusive. Moon Knight show I thought was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Can't wait to see what they do next. If there's going to be a Moon Knight 2 or just put them into the MCU into the next whatever movie. I'm interested to see what they do with Moon Knight. But I thought it was a fantastic series. Very well done. Very enjoyable. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Zombie Mystique FWE exclusive. Not too bad. A little bit of box wear. But I think it's actually just from like a storage or just from the sale shelf. Next, we've got Zombie Thor Entertainment Earth exclusive Zombie Thor, Thor Glow in the Dark. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's do some of these big ones next. These will also be part of the um, Winner's Choice auction. So you can get these big old pops too. We got a big old Zombie Wolverine. And this actually looks looks okay. 10-inch pops, you know, are very hard to find in mint condition. Even if you go into the retail store, to get these off the shelf in mint, it's very, very difficult. So with 10-inch pops, you have to allow small box blemishes. That's common. It happens. We have Zombie Wolverine. Then next we have Zombie Black Panther. I've never seen this one yet. Actually looks pretty cool. That looks really, really nice mold on that. Zombie Black Panther, this is a Walmart exclusive. Any condition for this 10 inch pop? It's like eight out of 10 condition. It has like a small crease in the back. That's actually just a production flaw right there. But this, honestly, that's not too bad a shape for a Walmart exclusive that was probably on Walmart shelf, thrown around, tossed around, you know, if you know what I mean. Now here's the last oversized pop. And this one does have a little bit of window damage. A little bit. But yeah, that's fixable. But a little bit of a little bit of crunchage right here. Um I might give that away for free. Might just give away free and whatnot auction. Every one of auction I do, I always give away like four, five, sometimes six pops for free. I think the most I gave away was like eight. So, you know, if you want to win some for free, my next one on auction. Check it out. You win something for totally free. I pay for shipping everything. It doesn't cost you a freaking dime to win. Totally free. The pop just shows up on your doorstep. Okay, next we got another zombie Thor. This one's not going to dark though. And pretty good condition right there. Next we got zombie red Hulk. That actually looks like a pretty cool one too. And he's not too bad i'd say about eight out of ten condition has a few small like box blemishes but all in all it's it's not bad it's not bad next we got zombie she hulk that kind of looks like the uh the exorcist um like demon child thing kind of what it looks like and this has a small box little crease in the back right there but actually it's, it's not bad not bad about eight out of ten condition on that one then we have Zombie Gambit. We already had another Zombie Gambit. Maybe it's like the second or third one we've had now. This one, though, is a box launch exclusive, a glow-in-the-dark Zombie Gambit. So that's a lot of fun. Looks to be not too bad condition. Not bad. Everything so far has been Marvel, as far as I can remember. And here is the at least one non-Marvel pop. We got the Dracula Walgreens exclusive. This actually looks to be really, really minty. Like really minty. So that's fantastic. Next we got Zombie Modok. With the ongoing Marvel collection. Fantastic edition on that. Really, really good. Then we have Zombie Scarlet Witch. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that mold on that. Looking almost like a Medusa, almost with like the snake hair looking. Interesting looking pop. We do have a small crease right here. And that might end up becoming a giveaway. We'll see. I'll put it into, into the giveaway stack. There's going to be like, like four, possibly five pops for giveaways. Next we got Zombie Iron Man. There's one of these earlier, but I think it was a glow in the dark though. I think it was. And next we've got Zombie Mysterio. This has got, ooh, that's got quite a bit of damage to that box. It got crunched. That got 
a little smushed. Creases here, creases there. Yeah, zombie Mysterio, definitely that'll be a giveaway. I'll just give away for free. You know, give it away. Why not? Let's see. Oh, next we got Zombie Magneto. It took some hits. Um, might have to work in the box a little bit. Like, but if it's too too bad, I'll just give it away. But I think I might be able to work on that a little bit to get that flat. Now, it's, it's just like the actual flap right here. Got a little, little bit bent on the inside of the flap, which is making it push out a little bit. But that's actually might might be somewhat fixable. Just kind of work out a little bit, smooth it out some. See, next, Zombie Doctor Doom. Kind of the same thing. Took a little damage on, the, on like the flap when something like pressure hit it. About to work on that a little bit. Let me actually put those off to the side. Work on those a little bit, see if I can get those looking a little bit better. Then next, we've got Zombie Captain America. This actually looks pretty good condition. Zombie Captain America. We have just a few left in here. Zombie Silver Surfer. That one is wicked. Silver Surfer without a head. His head is detached. That looks minty right there. Next we got Zombie Mysterio. Not too bad a condition. I'd say about 8 out of 10 for the Zombie Mysterio. And then we've got Miles Morales, everybody's favorite new Spider-Man. Pretty nice condition for Miles. Might be the last pop. Yeah, here's the last pop. We have the What If Zombie Falcon. Looks to be in actually really good condition. Zombie Falcon. So that's the entire collection. Um, packaging on this was, uh, I give it like a rating of like a D. Not a C, a D. There's at least three, four, five damage, plus the oversized was damaged. Six got damaged in shipping, all because there was no pup protectors. They weren't packaged very well. Um, there was bubble wrap, a little bit of bubble wrap, but just on top of the box. It didn't, it didn't like fill the void. So whenever UPS or FedEx, I think it's UPS, put boxes on top of this one, it just smashed down the pots because it didn't have the structural support of the box. There was too much airspace. So yeah, not good packaging, caused some damage. So that really stinks. So remember, you, you do sell collections, make sure you safely package it, use pop protectors. They're cheap. You can get for like 10 bucks a pop, 100 protectors for like, $72 shipped. I mean, it's under a dollar a protector. You know, in, in grand scheme, is going to protect uh, most of these pops. If these were in protectors, there would have been no damage in shipping. That would help tremendously. So, this were the wise. If you sell collections, make sure you package it well. If you're not sure, if you need more details, more questions, it's okay to say, hey, I'm not 100% sure what you mean. Tell me more. You know, just to limit any potential damage so but anyway looks like we'll have at least five giveaways maybe actually probably like six giveaways in the next auction here in just a few days so make sure you follow me on whatnot download the app down below it's completely free use my link save 10 bucks on your first purchase make sure you follow me on instagram also that's where i'll let everybody know when my next auction is going to be is on instagram i'll verify but as of right now it's going to be uh june 4th probably around 4 p.m. Eastern time, maybe as late as 6 p.m. Eastern time. So I'll see you then. My next What Not live auction. Thanks for watching. I'm out. This video was brought to you by the What Not app. Download the free What Not app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. You can buy Funko Pops auction style, Silver Age and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards, pack breaks and box breaks. You can have sports cards ripped for you live that you purchase. Download the WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app.